we're gonna have a tie-dye themed day. you guys are doing well the kids and I are up to a lot of fun this morning we're gonna have a tie-dye themed day now a lot of people spending time at home I've seen so many posts of people making tie-dye shirts and making tie-dye bags and we wanted to get in on all that plus we thought we'd start with a super cool morning activity by making tie-dye pancakes do you think we can pull this off Maya yeah I don't know if we can. I've made up some very colorful batter. I have purple over here and pink and blue and green. And we're gonna attempt some tie-dye waffles. First, we're gonna turn it on and give it a second to warm up. I actually bought this waffle maker just to make these pancakes. We did not own a waffle maker and I saw this recipe on Pinterest and it looked really good, so we bought a waffle maker. I'm gonna show you what we're going for. I found this vlog online, it's called She Knows, and they made beautiful tie-dye pancakes. Whoa. They're so gorgeous. Oh Those look so cool. They I do look how, so cool. I don't know how we're gonna do that. I just feel like all the colors are gonna mix and it's just gonna be a big brown pancake. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if ours are gonna turn out well. I did read after the fact that you're supposed to use neon colored food coloring, which I don't have, so I'm hoping it's gonna work okay with regular bright colored food coloring that's not quite neon. Okay, the waffle maker is ready, which means I think we have to spray it real quickly Can now. I spray? spray real quickly, top and bottom, just a little bit. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> and now we're gonna put our batter and we're gonna kinda splatter the different colors. Waffle maker, so I'm gonna do the yeah, other side it. too. Oh, yeah, spray it. I almost forgot to spray it. That would have been good. Oh, this is gonna be so yummy. Okay. Now, it's said to not have the temperature set too high because you want it to look all brown, so I'm a little bit worried they're gonna look more brown than colorful, but we'll see. I'm trying to be optimistic here. Oh, it just beat, which means our first waffle is ready. Let's see how it looks. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh wow. wow. How this cool does that look? So cool. Oh wow, that is so cool looking. Oh my god. Love it. Well, who's gonna have that one? Pink. What, what's your favorite color in it? Mm, that there's, pink. These, there's, there's different colors on the other sides too. It's kind of interesting. Pink. pink. You like the pink? pink? Pink, pink. Now we're just waiting on our second one and I'm hoping, oh, it just beeped. Pink. I'm hoping it's just as pretty as the first. Ooh, this oh. one's pretty too. <laughs> you love it, Addy? Yes, 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 yes. Sandy's even begging, they look so good. Oh, she sure mm -hmm. is. Sandy always wants in on our food action, doesn't she? Delicious. Huh? Mm. Sandy. Does Sandy get some after all? Yeah. Oh, Sandy, lucky dog. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. Mm. All right, Colin, let's make yours. Spray. It's yeah. pink red, Mommy. It's red, okay. It's pink red. It could be pink red. All right, let's do green. Oh, don't spread it out yet. <laughs> well, there went half the batter. Whoa, there you go. Perfect. And flip. And some chocolate chips make pancakes better and some syrup to dip it into, right guys? Mm -hmm. Well, I think that was actually a success. I have to admit that I had some doubts, and I didn't think that my waffles would turn out nearly as pretty as the ones in the picture, but I think they did. It almost looks like Play-Doh. It does look like Play-Doh, like Play-Doh waffles. Even Daddy's getting in on the action. Yum, yum. Okay. And you put chocolate chips that you melted on top. That looks pretty good. Yes. I definitely think we'll be making these again. They are officially a hit in our house. <laughs> Well, we are moving on now from tie-dye food items, or tie-dye waffles, to tie-dye clothing and accessories. Are you guys excited? Yes. 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 
I bought a tie-dye kit, actually bought a couple tie-dye kits at Hobby Lobby, and we're gonna test them out in the basement. I got some white shirts for the girls and for Colin, as well as some little canvas bags that we're going to tie-dye. And I wasn't sure where to do this because tie-dye stains, I didn't wanna get stained anywhere else in the house, and I was afraid outside it would be too loud. So we came down to the basement to do this. And the room we're in right now, I'm gonna see if you guys know what room this is. Where do you think we are? It's the toy school. We are in the toy school. No, we turned it into a playroom since we didn't have it. It's a temporary playroom. This was the toy school. You can see we have, we used to have all the posters there and the desks were in here. And we took the toy school down because sadly I think we're done with toy school. It's kind of the end of an era. But we're gonna move this room to something else. We're not quite sure what yet. This temporary little kind of like hodgepodge room that the kids play in, but we're gonna do something fun with it. But it's kind of sad that the toy school's gone. Mm -hmm. Are you sad about that? I think it was serious. It was a fun one. Yeah. But today we're tie-dyeing in it, so that's okay, right? Yeah. We have all of these fun colors to use, and our kit came with some instructions. And we have gloves. And you have gloves because the stuff will stain. I never realized how many tie-dye techniques there were. There's so many different ways to tie the bands and roll the shirt or fold the shirt and um, it's going to be interesting to see what kind of creations we come up with. I'm going to make one for Colin and Addie's going to work on her own. I was a little bit nervous to bring Colin down to do this because I was afraid we'd just have food, or not food coloring, but dye everywhere. So I'm going to try to do this for him unless he sneaks down here and wants to join. So Maya's trying something different. She's trying Shibori, it's called, a different method. Okay, that's gonna look cool though. The coolest thing about tie-dye is there's really no way you can mess it up. There's no right way. You just have fun with it, put the colors wherever you want, and they all end up looking really cool in the end. Here's Colin's first shirt. What do you think is gonna think it's gonna look good, Addie? Yes, I can see it in my mind. <laughs> you can from yes. this? Yes. <laughs> I think it's always so hard to just look at this little blob and get an idea of what it's gonna turn out. So it's really exciting. We can finally take them out and unfold it all and see how your t-shirt turns out. Oh well, is doing a different technique over here. Yeah, I'm kind of following it. So you're not wrapping that one, you're just putting the dye right on? Yeah, because they didn't wrap it. So. Cool. Got my little blob. <laughs> you got your blob. What colors did you use in there? Um, I used pink, red, um, blue, and purple. Ooh. I think my next one I'm gonna pick two colors because I kind of like some of the tie dyes where they just have like a couple colors just to switch it up because I used a ton of colors in his first one. So I'm gonna change my plans for the second. Maya has decided to abandon the tie part of tie dyeing and she's moving on to just the dyeing part of tie dye. Don't want to tie yours, Maya? Mm -mm. No, just spark sprinkling colors everywhere? Yep. What technique are you doing, Addie? Um, I'm going to do the stripes. Stripes. Cool. While we're wrapping up the tie-dye, we are placing them all in Ziploc bags so that the fabric stays moist. And the next part is the hardest part of the process because we have to wait six to eight hours to take them out of the bag. Here we go. All right. It is a beautiful day here in Nashville, so we thought we'd come outside and get some fresh air. And when I was at Hobby Lobby checking out with all of our tie-dye kits, I saw these at the register, and I thought it looked kind of fun. They're chalk blast balls. You have to throw them, and they make chalk. You, you like throw them, and they yeah. make chalk designs all over like your driveway or your Whoa. sidewalk, and I thought it looked really fun, so I thought we'd give it a try, because I've seen so many people post videos and pictures of the coolest chalk designs they've been doing on their driveways and sidewalks during this whole COVID pandemic, but we couldn't do any of that, because if you can see, our sidewalk and our driveway is kind of like this pebbled material, and so chalk usually doesn't work so well, but I thought 
these chalk balls might work. And you know what I bet too, Maya? What? I bet they'll kind of leave like a tie-dye pattern, which kind of fits with our whole tie-dye no. theme of the day. You yeah. think so? So we're gonna test them out now. Three, two, one. And apparently, according to the package, it'll last for over 200 throws, which we're seeing so far, they're pretty sturdy and we're getting a lot of throws out of them. Wow. I just threw this, these three together and it made a really cool design. So if I gathered up all of them and threw them at Wait, the same guys. time, it would be even more cool. It is kind of looking like a little tie-dye pattern on the sidewalk too, so it's pretty cool that it fits our tie-dye theme for today. Making a pattern, Addy? Yep. I have felt so, so very fortunate we've had the most beautiful weather here in Tennessee the last few months because we've been spending a lot of time at home because of the COVID-19 pandemic and even though we've been spending a lot of time at home, we've been able to get outside and enjoy just beautiful weather. And I'll go back and look at my um, friends back in Phoenix where we used to live and they're already in temperatures over 100 degrees. And then look at friends we have in other states and it's still snowing outside. So I am just loving and trying to soak up this beautiful weather we have and enjoying it while we can. I'm Cookie Monster. What happened to your face? Did you get chalk all over it? Yep. Why am I not surprised you got chalk all over your face? And I'm guessing, did Colin get chalk on his face too? Maybe. If there's any two of my three that would get chalk on their face, it's you and Colin, isn't it? <laughs> and Addie, did you get chalk on your face? You actually have a little bit on your face. You're a little pink. Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah. And let me see those hands. Wow, those hands are really colorful. I do it by doing this. Oh, <laughs> that'll get chalk everywhere for sure. Yeah. Did you put the chalk in the trampoline? Yeah. Yes, I can see that. <laughs> Colin decided the trampoline looked a little bit boring, so he added some color to it. It looks beautiful now, Colin. I want some more. You want some more? Yeah, let's get the trampoline. Now I think they're just seeing how messy they can get. Wow, Maya, that's a lot of chalk. That is a lot of chalk, girl. <laughs> it's the next day and our tie-dye projects are all done and they look really good, so we're gonna go check them out together and let the girls see their final products. Yay! <laughs> your bag, Addy, and here was the bag I made. And then check out your shirts. Oh my goodness, Collins is so oh. adorable. What t-shirt is that, Addy? Red and yellow stripes, AKA Gryffindor. <laughs> it turned out good. Yeah, who's who's? Um, Do you know? Yeah, this one's mine. Is that one yours? <laughs> I think so. We let them sit in the bags all night long, and then this morning, I went and rinsed them all out in the bathtub until uh, they ran clear, the water ran clear, meaning there was no more dye dripping, and that took a long time because I think I went a little bit overboard on the dye, but now they've been to the washing machine, and I think it turned out pretty good. I love it. What's the first one you're gonna wear, Amaya? Hmm, this one. That one? Probably this one, because this one seems to remember. Ooh, I like it. And here's Colin's shirt. This was a spiral one I made. Do you love it, bud? Thank you. Well, we had so much fun tie-dyeing food and tie-dyeing clothing, and I think it's time to say, what do we say? 